But we have bigger news that could affect the uh, entire franchise. Diamond Sports LLC, the parent company for regional sports networks such as Bally Sports Arizona, is preparing for bankruptcy, as many of you may have seen. Uh, and of course, this uh, the the this is the primary uh, primary financial supporter of the Arizona Diamondbacks. You could say, as far as their uh, as far as that television contract goes, and the amount of money that the Diamondbacks were being paid for it. There's a lot of things that could happen here. It's going to be very interesting to see how it plays out, to be honest. Um, MLB did hire Billy Chambers, as we talked about, to yeah. get the RSN rights back under MLB control or at least figure out some sort of plan that makes sense. Um, so this could be part of that plan, right? Waiting for essentially Diamond Sports LLC to to claim bankruptcy or to really reach out to try to get those rights back. I'm sure they're worth a ton of money, and I can only imagine how this whole thing does play out. I know a lot of people have criticized Bally Sports for the lack of streaming options or, you know, again, just the blackouts and the way that the rules and the agreement. That's not MLB. really Bally Sports' fault. Well, though, no, I know. Fair. Right. That's not it. But it's I'm saying it's the black the blackout rules for, for baseball don't help them at all. A lot of the things yeah. that they have been doing as far as streaming goes seems very archaic considering at one time major league baseball was on the cutting edge of streaming services they really were they were one of the first sports especially considering how complex it was yeah. for the length of their season to kind of have this ironed out i remember i think when the wwe uh launched a network oh, of course here we go oh there's there's going to be more there's always, WWE. There's always a it WWE started off with comparison. wwe talk jesse there's <laughs> talk in the middle and it's going to end with it too um but they i think that when they did their infrastructure it was based on mlb like networks you know, infrastructure that they had in place yeah. or, or the the plan. But I remember back in, what was it, maybe 2012, 2013, MLB.TV, mm -hmm. you know, was very much a thing. You could stream four games at once. Yeah. 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 I don't, yeah. I didn't really pursue other streaming services for other sports at the time, but it did feel like that was kind of a unique thing. Like, like Major League Baseball, like you're saying, really was kind of at the forefront of, of streaming and whatnot. Um, but yeah, there's just this blackout thing, right? That's, that's kind of, um, I don't know. It's it's gotten a very Blackouts suck. They fucking they, suck. They do. Jesse. They absolutely do. And and I guess I said earlier it's not really Bally Sports' fault. I I guess in a sense it is. I mean, the reason that we have blackouts is because uh Diamond Sports LLC, right, which which owns Bally Sports, they operate under that name. Um, they're paying for the exclusive rights. Right. Yeah. And that's so that's, I don't mean it like in a villainous way, but it's right. like by by acquiring those rights and by setting the rules that they set in place for how far that blackout travels, right? Right. People in Las Vegas can't watch Diamondbacks games. You have fans in California that can't watch Diamondbacks games. And I don't think that was ever the intention of, of these regions, you know, of, of, of stretching yeah. out that far, but it does. Right. Right. Yeah. It's a, it's a silly system. It's it, Bally is not the only ones, you know, to do this. There are other regional sports networks that have similar deals around the Correct. game. So it's not just Correct. them, but, but yeah, it's, it's just an issue with how, you know, these regional sports networks at large have operated for quite some time. Well, I mean, it's there's all sorts of stupid shit. Uh, Sunday Ticket on DirecTV, even though I have the channel, uh, the Channel 5 or Channel 10, the local affiliate, and there's a game on there. And under my, you know, uh, Sunday package, Sunday Ticket package, that game on that channel is blacked out because I need to switch back to Channel 5 and watch it. And it's like, what does it matter I literally have both <laughs> channels. Why can't I have this all in a nice line where I can go up and down the 10 channels and watch all the football Because that games? would be entirely too convenient, ah! Derek. That would be way too convenient. <laughs> we have a couple people in the comments saying, uh, put the D-backs back on channel three. Gabriel oh. mentioned that. Well, it's funny you bring that up because non-affiliated local stations may be in the mix as well, by the way. Uh, Arizona's family locked down, which is channel three and channel five, uh, they locked down the rights for the Phoenix Rising games. So no, it's not it's on the Phoenix Rising. It's just for Phoenix. It's just they're they're Phoenix Rising. You're not allowed to use articles in front of this. Owen, our guy who covers Phoenix Rising, is very particular about this. So I have I to correct be, you, I will Derek. Not be I'm fucking sorry. Corrected. I will not be. <laughs> I the I think Phoenix it's Phoenix Rising. Detestable. It is the Phoenix Rising. <laughs> Uh, and I will, I will say the Phoenix Suns, the Arizona Cardinals, the Arizona Diamondbacks. It is the Phoenix Rising. They, I don't care what Derek. Owen it's fucking soccer. thinks. They, they play by different rules. I don't care they play what by Max different rules. thinks what either. <laughs> what do you mean? Wait, wait, what's the discrepancy? Here? Apparently, Owen says that there's no the in front of Phoenix Rising. You don't Rising. say the Phoenix, Phoenix Rising. Rising. You say Phoenix Rising. 
he is always wrong. Okay, see, there we see, go. that's we've confirmed. Uh, <laughs> anyway, they uh, Arizona's family locked down the rights for Phoenix Rising. Whatever they could be. Yeah, I mean, this is more speculative than anything else, for but sure. it, it it is reasonable to think that that is a route that you know we we could see pursued later on. Uh, Gabriel Ferris says, I still have the Channel 3 D-backs picture frame giveaway from like 20 years ago. Let's there you go. go. Yeah, you do. By the way, <laughs> uh, speaking of that, let's get, can we can we get a look at, at our uh, producer, Damon's shirt, really fast? Because we need this on camera. Get over here, fella. Uh, look at this beautiful work of art right here. Uh, look at that. Going, going, Gonzo. He wore this for us. That's why That's why he's becoming my favorite producer. <laughs> but uh, that is a fantastic shirt. And uh, I, I love I love coming across that kind of stuff. I found one in my garage that was like the World Series uh, championship shirt, the black one. And like, I don't even want to wear it. I just want to put it in a picture frame and leave yeah, it there. Yeah, right. Know? It is actually really nice artwork. But uh, it's just interesting to see what's going to happen with the Arizona Diamondbacks television rights. I know that, honestly, I think a lot of people would take you know, maybe the rights being spread out a little more rather than it being all on one network if it makes it a little bit more accessible yeah. to watch the games. The, the speculation is that Major League Baseball will ultimately take over the rights for all of the teams or at least the teams that are under Diamond Sports LLC um, and they would become the ones with, with primary control. And they could look to do that for all of the regional sports networks in baseball where Major League Baseball just has the rights to all of the broadcasts which would potentially end blackouts, right? We've had mm -hmm. that conversation before. I don't know if we're necessarily heading that direction. As of right now, it sounds like um, Diamond Sports LLC is, is financially very much underwater, um, but it looks like what's currently in place is a sort of restructuring where the current investors in Diamond Sports LLC, some of that debt would basically be turned into equity for them. Um, so as, as investors, obviously what they've invested in is not, uh, not panned out particularly well, but there are ways to kind of restructure things so that those investors, um, essentially, you know, kind of take over and, and kind of bail out diamond sports LLC from the situation that they're in. So that's kind of where we seem to be headed for, for the moment. Um, in that case, would they re continue to retain the rights to baseball games? And would this all theoretically, I think they would continue. But I also think there's a fair amount of doubt about whether or not that actually happens when it's when it's all said and done. From a D-backs perspective, the concern is that clearly the amount of money that that Diamond Sports LLC has been shelling out to all of these teams for these exclusive broadcast rights is not sustainable. It's not worth what what Diamond paid for it. And for the D-backs, that's a big problem because a substantial revenue stream for them is their TV money. And so there's a theory that, you know, maybe the Diamondbacks are a little bit hindered right now in terms of spending just because they don't know the future of this situation. Yeah, there is a very real possibility that their payout from TV revenue gets cut down significantly as a result of this. And that would also, of course, have an impact on how much money the team is bringing in and how much money they're able to spend. I know there's no way for you to know this, but do you think that Billy Chambers could work with them in the restructuring that maybe the RSNs give up some of their exclusivity yeah. to the rights? It's a good question. To maybe allow like at least blackouts not to occur or you know, I mean, I, like the wildest thing to me is like I, I get the idea here that you want to be the only one showing the games, but am I going to really like log in to my, you know, extra innings account when I'm at home? to watch a Diamondbacks game if, if I'm here in Phoenix? Or am I going to turn it on, on on my DirecTV channel and go to Bally Sports and watch it? I'm most likely going to do that, yeah. right? So, like, I only feel like the uh, lack of blackouts being involved only helps the product get yeah. viewed by more people and allow people not to have something else to be angry at baseball about. Yeah, I mean, the the fewer things we have for people to be angry at baseball about, the better, right? <laughs> the so better. hopefully somehow that comes out of this. I, I don't know if I foresee things just kind of continuing on right. as usual because those those investors, even with this restructuring, I think would be likely to try to sell mm -hmm. very quickly thereafter. So even if this restructuring does happen, it doesn't mean it's going to be business as usual. I think they would try to sell, and I think Major League Baseball would probably be at the forefront of trying to take over those rights maybe that brings blackouts to an end in the relatively near future. Yesterday, we talked about Art Moreno not selling the Angels, but we said that after his investment 20 years ago, that Art Moreno could have walked away with $2.3 billion in profit. Yeah. In profit. Now, the wildest thing to me is that he would have sold the Los Angeles Angels organization for a rumored 
2.5 billion with a B. Remember, that's important here. Uh, but a, bil- a billion seconds is how many years again? A billion seconds is 31 years. 31 a million years. seconds is 12 days. Don't ever forget it. Uh, <laughs> but Sinclair bought the rights to uh, the the regional sports networks from both uh, Fox Sports and from Disney. To Disney. And, and they for paid ten, an 10 billion. Absurd amount 10 of money billion. For it. They could have bought five franchises maybe even six or seven at the time instead of buying the regional sports network rights for the amount that they invested in it and as we saw with art moreno's investment maybe that would have been a little bit more worthwhile of an investment to make money on i don't know but this whole thing is crazy uh the entire it does not seem like it was a wise investment on sinclair's part and for that no (laughs) for that we're gonna go ahead and give it the og's performance to forget that's right it's our performance to forget (laughs) Brought to you by friends at OGs. Sometimes games are the performance to forget, but sometimes investments are the performance to forget. So make sure to check out our friends at OGs in case you have a performance you want to forget.